Hi, my name is Jamie Smith. I work for the Breakthrough Programme uh, for Startup Businesses and I'm here to talk about testing the market and how to move your business further forward today. I'm very pleased to be joined by Lucy Cox, um, who has got um, specific experience in crowdfunding, which is one of the methods which is very popular today used for testing the market. And Lucy's company, Halto, is it Halto? Halto? Potato, potato, yeah. Potato, potato. <laughs> Alto, Alto, um, which is fantastic, and we've got uh, it's a very good story, which I think um, illustrates the point very well. So uh, that's what I want to share with you this morning. So Lucy, as well as providing business support for our clients on the Breakthrough Project, I know you run your own business, Alto, and you've used crowdfunding to be able to test the market. Can you tell us a bit about how that works? Yeah, certainly. We crowdfunded last February, February 2015, um, and it just provided us a really great platform to uh, test the market uh, in a really cost-effective way um, and to put a product concept out there um, and to get feedback, not only in terms of whether there's a demand for the product, but also in terms of the brand personality, what sort of social media platforms, advertising platforms would um, work really well with that target audience as well. So it was a 28-day campaign. Um, through the platform that we use, which was Crowdfunder, um, you get your own domain page, your own domain name, your own page. Um, you populate it with a video and some content. Uh, it's up to you to come up with a, a whole variety of rewards which people can pledge in exchange for. Um, so, for example, I think we had six different rewards which ranged from just donating money into the campaign right the way through to coming to a launch dinner. Um, and having limited edition products, that sort of thing. So it was a fairly low risk strategy for us, but it told us everything that we needed to know about um, our market and if there was a market, which was the most important thing. There are risks involved in this crowd? <coughs> there are risks. I think when you're doing anything product based, you have an IP risk. Um, as soon as it's out there in the public domain, unless you're able to mobilise quite quickly, there is the risk that somebody is going to take that product idea. Um, we got ourselves as protected as we could do with intellectual property, but um, it's only ever worth what you're prepared to defend it in court at the end of the day. So I think by the time we actually got out to the crowdfunding platform, we had made a commitment to ourselves that if it was successful, then we had to move fairly swiftly after that. But also from our point of view, our, our rewards involved product so it was in our interest if the, if the crowdfunding campaign was successful to get product out to people as quickly as possible. So. Okay. And, and can you tell us any more about <coughs> the actual deal that you put together for people? What, what was it that people could buy or, or get into if they went to your crowdfunding? Campaign? Well, essentially crowdfunding, certainly with a um, rewards-based one, the most common reward is actually to be able to buy the product before anybody else. So you are effectively pre-ordering a product that doesn't yet exist. So for those early adopters in the market, it's a really attractive proposition because they can actually get in there and say that they've supported something right from the very start and get their hands on something um, which nobody else has got. So from our point of view, we had um, the, the product, this one here, okay. um, and we also created a limited edition colour as well, which you could only get by the crowdfunding platform. So the, the idea is, is to always try to encourage people to pledge up. the actual sort of hard costs of doing it what, what did you actually have to do in terms of outlay for example I know that you did lots of video yep. was that expensive to do yeah so our crowdfunding video cost us around about 600 pounds mm -hmm. um, there, there are so many different ways you can do it and I think it, it very much depends on the product or service or, or charity that you're trying to, to promote um, but for us it, it's such a visual thing that it, it made sense to invest in a really good video and also we're telling a story so we're two sisters, we're two mums, we've never really done this sort of thing before bringing a product right from concept to market. Um, and we wanted something that was shareable, something that, that people could relate to and they wouldn't mind sharing it via their social media networks. So yes, we, we did have to invest in that. Um, some people, they would be more than happy just talking to uh, an iPhone camera and that would be their video. Um, video certainly is, is probably the most effective way of, of communicating what the actual product is that you're crowdfunding for. There were other costs as well, so um, we did an awful lot of networking in the, the few months coming up to the crowdfunding campaign. Um, we wanted to get as much sort of pre-buying to what we were doing and get people ready to pledge right from day one. Um, we also spent a reasonable amount of money on social media advertising. Um, I think what one of the mistakes that a lot of people make with crowdfunding is 
they spend a lot of time investing in this video and on their web page and get everything ready to go and then they push the button and sit there and wait for the money to start rolling in and it doesn't happen like that it's not a build it and they will come so there has to be a significant amount of investment um either financially or in terms of time just campaigning all, all the time out to that network so it's what you make of it I think if you go in really well prepared and have a really clear um, outcome that, that you're looking for, then I think it's actually really effective. I think it, it's a fairly low risk way to, way to do it. And of course, there's, there's no limit to how many times you can do it as well. So every time you iterate your business, if, if it is applicable and you know, there is a way to do it, then, then obviously it's a really good platform cool. to use. Great. Well, thank you very much. No um, obviously, this crowdfunding type of campaign is one way of testing a market and we cover various other ways of testing the market on the Breakthrough Programme which you can find more about on this website.